What's up, everybody? Welcome to Brothers and Beer Podcast, episode 41. I know I forgot to put that in description, but it is what it is. This is episode 41. He's Steve. I beat That's you to Ken. It. <laughs> and you know what? We're not canceled yet. I haven't used, you that, haven't used that one in a long ass time. We are not canceled yet, and we haven't quit. That's Most it. importantly, you. I'm waiting on it any day. Waiting on me to quit? I figured I'd get that one in before you could throw the jab at me. Oh, uh, yeah, well, you know, sometimes things run their course, Ken. It's true. Have we ran our course? No, I ha- I'm not done yet. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, you were talking about people not being able to hear you, and I think that's because you got the mic on the left side of your face. And I look at you a lot. And you look at me a lot. But if so. I this. Get get rid of that stupid thing at the bottom Te- first. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Pause. No, don't pause. Time out. You guys are uh, going behind the velvet rope here. Behind yeah, the scenes. Yeah, we're behind the scenes of the multi-million dollar studio. Actually, it's looking good in here. It is looking really good in here. We got some more room on the wall, though, for some posters in front of us. We need to get some more shit to put up there. Is this better, like, when I talk to you? But now, can people... Oh, people can still see me? Yeah, I think that would be preferred actually because for now, people to see me yeah because the star of the show well yeah exactly and they the need to see you show. and they need to hear you the voice of the show oh oh i'm star the star the a star, You're the star and the voice why am i here oh yeah because i you need a beer winch well you're here because i need somebody to come up with topics and shit um are we are we jumping right into the first beer well that's how, we, how we're doing it now that's how we're doing it now well what what is that first beer the people need to know. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is peanut butter jelly time, ladies and gentlemen. I was so surprised when Kim told me what we were drinking today. All right, that's enough. Although I want to just, I want to play the whole minute and 45 seconds. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that shit. Anyway, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is peanut butter and jelly time. What's up, Sheila Locke? You know um, what? There's a lot of people that aren't in here yet. They're going to be sad that they missed that. They are. They're just going to have to watch the YouTube video. Do you like that shameless plug? Yes. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Brothers and Beer has a YouTube channel. We are putting all four beers on the YouTube channel as separate videos from here on out. So make sure you go over there, there go, blah, 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 go over to that YouTube channel, throw us a subscription, right? It's called subscribe, subscribe on YouTube. And Hit the little bell so you get a notification when we post a video and all that fun shit. Uh, watch them, comment, all that stuff so, you know, YouTube can tell us we can't make money because we stole someone's song. What's up, Sean? But we made it our song. I like the song. Peanut butter jelly time. <laughs> Peanut, that's going to be our new theme song. There you go. What's up, Sean, man? Uh... Yeah, I meant to tell you, man, we can't, it was, it's hard for us to uh, go on site and not do the podcast on Friday because Friday is when we actually record the podcast. I wasn't thinking about that when I talked to you the other day. But anyway, first, let's, let's tell you what this beer is. This beer, I've heard about it a few times. Um, I've never actually had it before. I saw it on the Dayton Beer Geeks Facebook group. Somebody posted about it, but it's Catawba Brewing Company, Peanut Butter Jelly Time Brown Ale. I got a little bit of information on it from the uh, website itself. It says, remember when your mom packed a PB&J sandwich in your lunchbox? The flavors all melted into a pure comfort food by noon. Well, we recreated this childhood goodness in a beer. This light brown ale is brewed from five different grains and then aged for weeks on raspberries and roasted peanuts. Take a sip, let the flavors mingle on your palate, and enjoy our PB&J in a glass. Uh, It comes in at 5.7% ABV and about 10 IBUs. It says this beer begins its life as a light brown ale that provides a bready qualities of the base beer. After fermentation, it is rested on whole roasted peanuts and all natural raspberry puree, which truly transforms this into a PB and J sandwich in a glass. Steve's already poured his, and it looks terrible. It looks like somebody blended, put a peanut butter and jelly sandwich <laughs> in a blender. That um, is definitely what it looks like. It I mean, smells good, though. but but you're getting that because it's a brown ale put on top of raspberries, so you're going to get the brown ale color. With a little bit of red tint I to it, most likely. I definitely get the raspberry smell. Feet is glitchy. Why? Uh, I don't see any dropped frames or anything right now. We're keeping a pretty steady bit rate. Um, we'll let you know. I mean, kind of keep an eye on it and let us know if you're seeing some kind of crazy, crazy shit go on. But uh, 
We're hardwired even. Yeah, we're hardwired now, so we got a constant speed. I still I'm not getting good bars, man. I hate it. Not getting good bars. Check, check. You need to not be so damn far away from your mic. I was right up on it. Look, I'm right up on it. Hey. Keeps restarting. Hey, Is anybody else having podcast. the same problems? Tom, Sheila? Anybody else having the same problem that Sean's seeing? Is your stream restarting? That's important information, it's ladies and gentlemen. It's stopping and starting on my phone. Stopping and starting. It just stopped and then went forward. And it's buffering. Sheila says it's smooth on her end. Tom said it's smooth on his. All right, well, we'll, we'll keep going and we'll, we'll keep an eye on it and hopefully, hopefully we're all right. I hate that. Can you guys hear me okay today? Because I'm gonna. If not, I'm buying this mic tomorrow. This does smell really good. It smells like a brown ale with raspberries in it. You got more head than I got. Because I know how to pour a beer. Sheila says smooth, not at all on her end. So hopefully it's a user issue. Um, I'm gonna take a drink because I've been wanting a beer all day. Oh, my God, that tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I got a lot of raspberry in my mouth right now. You taste the peanuts, though? Oh, yeah, I taste the nut. Yeah. I got nut and, and raspberry in my mouth. Come on, Dad. I just texted Dad, said we're about to go live. He just texted me back and says, text me when you go live, please. Just get on Facebook Brothers and Beer page. It's right there, Dad. We are live. Texted. Done. Um, <laughs> that's an amazing beer, actually. I'm really like surprised. It. You do still... Good now, boys. Awesome, awesome. If you can, if you get close to the mic, Sheila can hear you. I she did not say, however, <laughs> put the microphone in your mouth. I know you're really into phallic objects in your mouth. Anyway, this beer, if you if you've not had it before, if you like brown ales, this is not a brown ale. I know it's called a flavored brown ale, but does it have any flavor of brown ale at all? It does. That's where you're getting the bready note to it. I don't know if you're picking that up or not, but you do kind of get a bready note to it, and that's from the brown ale itself. But you definitely pick up the peanuts and the raspberries. It really does taste like a fucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I like it. Let me see. I got two more cans of this at home. It's three ninety nine a beer. Uh, it was where I bought it. Okay, well I'm just saying. Last week I bought two beers for seven ninety nine a beer, that and we did. hated that those beers. Sheila says, "Deep throat that mic." Hi Connie. Hi Christy. I have family in here, Sheila. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. But uh, this is four dollars cheaper, and, and it tastes a, way better. A million times tastes better. It does and, taste now way we're not going to get as drunk with it. We are not going to get as drunk with these. Um, like I said, this one comes in at, what did I say? It's like 5.7, 5.7% ABV. So it's not very high at all. Can you do me a favor, Ken? What? Since there's a couple more people in here right now. You want you want the song? Can you play the song again real quick? I deleted it. Oh, you deleted it. Okay. I can get it. No, I can get it. Well, you guys know what we do on the first beer now. We did get some feedback from our last episode. And um, a couple people, Tom, said that it, it was a great show. He really liked it. Enjoyed having high energy. He enjoyed the um, polls that we had a couple episodes back, but felt like that kind of dominated the show a little bit. And we felt that way too, but it served a purpose for what it was. We're not going to make that our show. Right. It definitely served a purpose. And everybody that I talked to said that they liked it. They liked the polls. Jen said she really liked the polls, but she kind of said the same thing as Tom. It felt like they were kind of taken away a little bit, but at the same time, she also said that it felt like it kept everybody engaged, you know, all four people that were, you know, right, so participating wonder... in the polls. But before you go any further, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, to honor the beer that we are currently drinking. Peanut butter, jelly time. Peanut butter, jelly time. Peanut butter, jelly time. Way yeah, way yeah, way yeah, way yeah. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Peanut butter, jelly. Peanut, Peanut butter, butter, jelly. jelly. So that's the kind of show we're going to have today. Every, beer, every time a beer sucks, we're going to play this song. We're going to play this song and drink this beer. Which we're gonna drink this beer. I'm going to have to order more of these. I'm going to have to figure out a way to get them. And then uh, Roger Brown said we had a great show. Uh, there was quite a few people who said it was a really good show last week, so I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. They said they really liked us. That There was some emotion came out between me and you. 
And because uh, you're wrong, there was some tension there. Because you're wrong. No, <laughs> you're always wrong. You always got fake news and shit. Ooh, that term is the term that you hate. I hate, and it. you use it more than anybody I know. <laughs> Probably. You hate that term. I do hate that term. And you use it more than anybody knows. So we got some feedback from Sean also. He said he's been listening to all the podcasts on Stitcher, I believe he said. All right. He said he loves every one of them. This is Sean is actually the gentleman that when he said he said Frickers and Huber, but we actually met him at Roosters in Miamisburg. Roosters in Miamisburg. Roosters in Miamisburg. Right, he was okay. uh he was on his way to do a wedding and we were just kind of shooting the shit, talking about what we were gonna discuss on the podcast. And uh, he's been listening to every every episode ever since, and I think this is the first night he's actually tuned in, which I'm surprised because I know he's got a gig tonight. Yeah, so. you guys got a gig tonight, right? Where's your gig at? I think he said Wandering Griffin. Wandering Griffin, yeah. In Beaver Creek. In Beaver Creek tonight. So. They're going to be playing there, Sean's band. So, and then, but on the first beer, we also do, sometimes we do, we used to do Trump tweets. Yep. Then we were doing... Uh, so what uh Darwin Awards. Then uh, then we were doing Florida Man, then we're doing like Dumbest Criminals. Well today we got Florida Man again. Florida Man is back. We both have a Florida Man. And since Dad and Kenny are in a text battle right now. He he, he still can't find it. Hey Connie, if you're still here, can you do me a favor? Can you call Dad and tell him how to find the podcast? You just go the to video. The bro- how just- to find it. Go to the Brothers Beer page, it's playing right there. Oh, it's next Friday. Oh, okay. My bad. I thought it was tonight. I did too. So next Friday is the gotcha. Okay, the show at the Wandering Griffin. What's the name of your band again, Sean? Put that in there so we know. Uh, I got a Florida man though. Yeah, Kenny. How can you not have a Florida I, I man? Love, you can you can look it up for any day of the week. Right. I just put in today's date, and this is the first one that popped up. There's probably several more for today, for this date, anyways. Which I thought was May twelfth, but it just happens to be April. 12th. It does. Ha- it is April twelfth. I'm trying to go. You're trying to just skip right past the most important day of the year. Right. This says half naked Florida man wearing underwear marked breathalyzer below. <laughs> Hold on, let me re- let me reread this. <laughs> half naked Florida man wearing underwear marked breathalyzer blow here arrested for DUI. <laughs> you got to do- I was wondering if the cop made him blow there. there. This is state classy Florida. On April 12th, a police officer in Port St. Lucie, which happens to come up a lot too. It's not just Florida. There's certain areas in Florida. There are certain areas in Florida. Wound up eyeing more than he bargained for after he pulled over an erratically driving, uh, drive driven pickup truck only to find the half naked driver surrounded by sex paraphernalia and, and clad in underwear marked breathalyzer with the phrase blow me. Here it says blow me, and the title didn't say that. <laughs> Sex paraphernalia, huh? Sex paraphernalia, and his underwear is marked breathalyzer, blow, blow me, me, near his genitals. According to the police report, recovered by the smoking gun, St. Louis, St. Lucie, St. Lucie County Sheriff's Department officer, oh my God, who gives a shit? Pulled over a dark colored pickup truck with a guy that had a bunch of fucking shit in his truck and underwear. <laughs> I love it when you try and read this shit and you get so frustrated and pissed off trying to read it. You're just like, fuck it. Well, they can't write, man. I don't need to know the whole goddamn everything about the cop. Well, that's something we talked about the other day when I was reading that article. I'm like, wait a minute. Do do editors not exist anymore? And the article that I was reading was on Washington Post's website. Like they're one of the best or not best, one of the most well-known newspapers in the country, right? I mean, the Washington Post is... Whatever. I got a Florida man, too. And the reason I did a Florida man... What's up, Pat? I did a Florida man for my birthday. My birthday is in two weeks from today. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to see if there's a different Florida man on for my birthday. Because the last one I did was Florida man rescues turtle from, quote, the streets. All right. Well, this one happened last year on my birthday. Florida man arrested for kicking swans at Lake Eola while practicing karate. (laughs) Kicking swans. Kicking swans. That is a I, very arrestable offense. I don't know where Lake Eola is, but a Florida man was arrested Thursday morning for kicking swans at Lake Eola Park in downtown Orlando. Now we know where Lake Eola is. 
right, yeah. while practicing karate. According to the arrest report, multiple witnesses told Orlando police officers they saw 34-year-old Rocco Mantella of Jacksonville leave the main walkway at Lake Eola Park around 9.20 a.m. to kick two swans, one in the backside and the other in the head, quote, as hard as possible while practicing karate. One witness said they heard... <laughs> One witness said they heard Mantella laugh when he noticed her reaction to the swan kicking. Another witness said they also saw Mantella kick a sleeping duck. What the fuck is wrong with people? That's his, uh... Officers were, were unable to locate the animals that were allegedly kicked. Mantella was charged with animal cruelty and is now being held on a thousand dollars bail. What, are they going to interrogate the fucking swans? We're Excuse wrong. me, can you tell me where this man kicked you? I wonder if they couldn't locate the exact one, but there were like a whole bunch of them. Swans are mean. How the hell did he kick a swan? No, that's geese. All birds are mean. Well, yeah, we can saw that. Yeah, all birds are mean. But, but if you saw what I posted on Facebook today, uh, there's a, I don't know, it's a cockatoo or whatever the hell it was, one of them little green birds that goes over and picks up this it's rodent. a finch, isn't it? I have no idea what they are. He had a, I mean, looked bigger than a finch. I don't know. It might have been a cockatiel or a cockatoo or a cockapoo or a but he picks up a rat or something, a little mouse. It was a little hamster. A little what? hamster. And he goes over. Maybe it was a mouse. He, no, it was a hamster. He puts it in the wheel, and then he wants it to run, but it won't run. So he goes over and grabs that wheel handle and starts spinning it. <laughs> Dude, he grabs that thing with his mouth and starts spinning it like Mach 12. Yeah. I was he, impressed with how fast that thing was spinning. He was rocking that guy, man. <laughs> He's like, I said spin. Yeah, but birds are <laughs> assholes. Hey, dad made it. Pat says the uh, the swans and the duck went to take karate classes. <laughs> sleeping duck. Nice. Hey, let, let sleeping ducks lie, man. Don't let kick them. Let sleeping em. ducks lie. Don't be kicking ducks, dude. Don't be kicking what swans or ducks or anything. The, the worst part of the story is, is the dude turned around and laughed at the lady. Yeah. Because she saw or he saw her reaction to him kicking three animals. How the hell is that practice in karate? I don't think anywhere in the karate. Book. I wish, I wish to God it would have been a dog of some sort, like a big dog, and he kicked it thinking he was a badass, and that dog turned around and just grabbed him by the nuts. Oh, that would have been amazing. Yeah. On, on the only problem with that is then they would have they would end up putting the dog down. And do you think they would? They do that when people when dogs bite people they now they do that. Yeah, but if there's three people that see him kick the dog karate style on the back of the head. I wonder if he yelled like "Hiya!" His sensei would be very mad if he. Oh, his, his sensei kicking. would be furious. Did I say that right? You did. Okay, sensei. I don't say a lot of things right. I really want to move to Florida. A lot of things happen in Florida on a constant basis. It's a never-ending thing. Not enough balls, Ken. Not sure what you're talking about, Pat. <laughs> oh, the man doesn't have enough balls for the dog to bite him. Thanks to your sister, I'm on. Was thinking I may have been barred. Well, why would we borrow you? And I asked Connie to call you. <laughs> so you're con you help us out. You're all the time sharing our stuff for us. We love you. Absolutely. Here. Okay. So more stuff happened in Florida because this beer's not going to last long. I got to read fast. I'm almost done. Me too. It's very good beer. Peanut butter jelly time. All right. This uh, naked women. Oh, yeah. I, I hear you, Pat. Not enough balls to kick a dog. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. That little punk ass kicked a sleeping duck. He ain't going to kick a dog. Uh oh. Especially not a big, beefy dog that would bite his nuts off. How the fuck is that practicing karate? Okay. What's uh, up, Aaron? Naked women, not one. Oh, multiple. women, plural. Naked women. Florida okay. women. <laughs> See, it's Florida man, Florida women. Oh, okay, plural. Men do stupid shit by themselves. Women do stupid shit in groups. All right. That's why they all go to the bathroom together. Naked women air drying at Florida restaurant rest stop send troopers on a pursuit. Officials say naked women arrested after the pursuit ended in a crash. So they ran from the cops. Is that what I'm getting from this? That's what we're going to get here. We're going to get naked women running from the cops. Three women were arrested after they were found naked at a rest stop, said troopers with Florida Highway Patrol. But the women didn't go quietly and led the officers on a pursuit through Pasco County. That's another one of those. Pasco County. That's another one of those. On Wednesday, Pasco County dispatchers received, received a 911 call from a custodian at a rest stop off the northbound Interstate 75, just south of State Route 54. We don't, we don't even know all that. No, but you read it anyway. I know. Okay. Um, 
They're on the northbound side of the building. All three of them are standing in the nude, putting on suntan lotion, the caller said. Now, remember when I first told you about this story and I said I guarantee it wasn't a man that called? Yeah. yeah. Sounds like I'm wrong. Maybe. Sounds to me like I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> if you're at the guy that cleaned the vending machines at a fucking rest stop and you finally, you've been there for years and you finally see three naked women putting on <laughs> suntan lotion, are you calling the cops? Apparently, yes. What the hell? I I don't know what to tell you, man. I, I can't I can't speak for other people. There are so many stupid people on this planet. I'll never even That is a story this guy could tell forever. Like I said, and watched him like the one guy who watched the lady <laughs> watched the woman across the street masturbate for seven or eight minutes before, before calling the cops. the cops. Okay, that's a good question. I like to interrogate this guy. How long did you wait? You he's like, police. he's like, you know, I, I was, I was going to let him go, but after 47 minutes and finally a group of children came in in a school bus, I decided I needed to call right. <laughs> a trooper, after I got done cleaning up. A trooper arrived and quickly spotted the naked women. When approached, the women told the trooper that they were recently showered and they were air drying, according to the media release. As the trooper worked to gather information at the scene, the suspect's hopped at a vehicle and fled on North 75. The responding trooper initiated pursuit but canceled it because, oh, they're not allowed to chase you now in Florida. Oh, really? Yeah. I know where I'm going. There's certain criteria oh. that it has to, I, I think, it, like, if it's really dangerous. Like a bank robbery this, or something? Yeah. These weren't dangerous criminals. It's probably Depends a, on what they were doing with that suntan lotion bottle. Right. I mean, can this guy just let the women air dry? I'm kind of curious. Were they really air drying? Another I mean, citizen called FHP's dispatch to report a reckless vehicle, which turned out to be the female suspects. The vehicle turned east on a road and was spotted driving the wrong side of the road, so the troopers pulled him over. What? They were not sober. <laughs> the, troop, the, the vehicle was tracked down to a convenience store parking lot. And the trooper said, see, they say the word trooper in here too many times for me and officer. I can't, I'm not fucking reading it. How many, we know it's a trooper. You don't have to say trooper over and over and over again. What do you put there instead? They, who's they, the trooper or the women? Find, find a different word for trooper. Copper. Asshole. Meh, yeah, copper. No, no. Okay. I like yours. Copper. I like <laughs> copper. <laughs> uh, Sheila, uh, Steve saw a picture of him and he said they, they weren't exactly the most attractive women in the world. I mean, they were, I mean, they weren't, they were just women. It's not like they were supermodels and they weren't, wow, they were, they were just women. So, but I mean, they look like me, you look like regular people. Not like, not that I look like a woman. I'm just saying they look like regular people. Okay. Okay. But they're, of course it's mug shots too. It's not like mud shocks aren't flattering. Oh, that's true. And that's a good point, Sheila. Maybe they insulted him. What'd they say? Maybe he was like, hey, would you like me to rub that on your back? And they were like, would you like me to shove this tanning lotion bottle up your ass? Well, he shouldn't have crossed. That's a line he shouldn't have crossed. And then he said yes. And then they went off on him, and he was like, fuck you. I'm calling the cops then. Don't offer and not do it. Okay, there are certain circumstances where you do call the police in that situation. Hey, Jen. Like, why can't you just go over and tell the ladies, hey, ladies, could you just cover up maybe and get out of here? Maybe you did that. I'm curious. There's got to be more to that story. Or maybe he is just a wholesome, good Christian man. It is 2019, Kenny. There's still like three or four of them around. I think they're all in Utah. Oh, wait, no, those are Mormons nope. and have 17 wives. Anyway, I'm about done with this beer. Under the age of 18. Under the age of 18. So we're doing a little something new this time. So here in a minute, you're going to see the Brothers and Beer logo pop back up. Uh, the reason for that is, is when we cut these videos up into four different videos for Steve to put on YouTube, he wants to start it with the Brothers and Beer logo. So when we come back, it's like we're going to commercial, but we won't be going long. It's going to be commercial break. Don't freak out. If you see the Brothers and Beer logo, we'll be right back. And when I say if you see the logo, I mean when you see the logo. Well, since Kenny's the one controlling it, I say if. <laughs> 